Hi, it's Saturday, January 22nd, 2011. And, uh, well, I don't really watch Bill O'Reilly's show. In fact, I've never seen it. And, well, this is probably kind of old news by now, but I just thought I'd um, throw my two cents in anyway. I think about maybe two weeks ago, maybe. I'm not sure. Bill O'Reilly was um, interviewing someone, and he insinuated that um, he didn't know what caused the tides to come in and out. And he didn't really know what caused the sun to rise and set. That's what he insinuated. He said uh, they couldn't be explained. The tides coming in and out, and the sun rising and setting, couldn't be explained according to him. And I don't really like to call anyone, um, stupid. So I won't. But I'm not sure if he was really that, um, ignorant, or not, or if he was just trying to, um, get a rise out of the person he was um, interviewing to um, uh, kind of make his ratings go up by saying something as stupid as what he said. But, um, yeah, it uh, came across that uh, he didn't really understand what those things were and how they happened. I think any 6th grader can probably tell you why the tides come in and go out. It's not something that's really mysterious. It's not something that we don't know or that's beyond science's ability to explain. We've known for, well, a while now. And the answer is uh, really, really simple. The moon. The moon exerts a certain amount of gravity on the Earth's oceans, causing them to rise and settle on a cycle. As for the sun rising and setting also being unexplainable, it's uh, really not. We've known how the sun rises and sets for a while now just like we've known how the tides work. The sun doesn't actually rise and set and move around in the sky. The sun is a star that's more or less stationary. We're the ones that uh, kind of move. We live on a planet that rotates, and whenever part of the planet is illuminated by the sun, that part of the planet rotates to uh, face the sun. And the sun rising is just the um, rotation taking the sun into view of the area that's being observed from. It's not the sun moving up in the sky. It just looks that way from our perspective. And the sun setting is the same thing. It's the rotation taking the sun out of our view. Not the sun going down beneath the horizon. Literally. It's not really a deep, mysterious thing that can't be explained. It has been explained. And until a better explanation comes along, we'll just have to make do with what we observe about it. So, um, yeah.